In this video, we are going to learn about question number three of the EOT. Okay, what exactly in this question we have? Develop a tool, sketches. Okay, descriptive text or presentation to show the morphology of electric field means what exactly we need to do the morphology means we need to draw them and we need to explain them. Okay, single and the multiple charge system with positive and the negative charges. We know we have the two type of charge. We have the positive charge. We have the negative charge. And what are the different cases? One time we have to learn about the single charges. Then we have to learn combination of the charges. Okay. What about the next part? Develop a method such as a schematic representation to compare the equipotential surface okay due to a single charge which means point charge two identical charges means both are positive or both are negative and one positive and one negative okay so this one is quite easy as compared to other questions you need to just focus on the understanding okay i'll start with the electric field of a single charge so guys single charge positive charge positive charge what you need to remember the electric line of forces are outward what i said outward this is a simple thing to remember huh? positive charge outward okay now negative charge what you need to observe negative if negative charge is coming you need to check the line of forces are going inside so the direction should be inward okay easy just positive outward negative inward now we need to learn about the combination okay now in terms of combination can you see one is positive and one is negative charge so easy to prepare no need to think too much about okay from positive to negative draw a line and the direction should be from positive towards the negative you can draw the another one you can draw the another one and like this you can keep on drawing the line of forces clear so positive outward and negative inward clear okay now we have the same type of charges this is something good huh so one is positive other is positive what will do what what happened here see positive starts going outward this will also start going outward but there is a repulsion then what we can do so they starts bending themselves so they will behave like this they will behave like this so they will never touch do you understand so from here the line of force is going down from here line of force is going down and there should be a gap this gap is called neutral point neutral point clear guys so you can observe from the picture one is positive here another is positive but the major point to represent this one major point to represent this one they never touch remember huh these line of forces these electric field never touch never touch each other or never cross never cross each other each other okay easy next one okay now what we need to learn about the equipotential surface what is the meaning of equipotential surface equipotential surface means same potential same potential and the keyword huh, in case of same potential no work done no work done is required okay or you can say work done on the equipotential surface is zero okay what is the meaning of equipotential surface i will explain you huh? let's say single charge let's say this is the positive charge line of forces are going like this 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 clear 
But see, if I draw a circle on this, what is the concept of the circle? Can I say on each point or this point, this point, this point, all these points are equal value, having the same value? Yes or no? Yes. So this value, this value, all these points are having the same value. This point is called equi means equal potential surface clear these points are equi potential so easy to understand positive all lines are outward and what is the key point what you need to understand key point huh? electric field and equipotential surface equipotential surface they are making angle of 90 degree always huh? always remember this thing they are always making an angle of 90 degree even i will give you another example let's say this is the electric field going on electric field electric field electric field so we can simply say this is let's say point a the value is different point b value is different point c value is different but if i draw a straight line like this then can we say at all these points this is also a this is also a this is also a so all the a points having the same value all a points having the same value of electric field and all these a's are called equipotential similarly you can draw for the b so this point b this point b they have the same value and these are called equipotential surface and i told you they are making an angle of 90 degree okay now see the second one you understand the positive line of forces are outward and you can see all these circle okay what is the meaning of circle you can see nearby circle and you can see here all are nearby and here you can say they are very far away so what is the meaning of nearby circle i will write it here for you nearby circle near by circles so it means more electric field more electric field and if they are very far away far away then it means less electric field less electric field here you can understand with the formula n directly proportional to q more line of forces n is line of forces you have more charge which means you have more electric field less line of forces i will write huh? line of forces okay q you know charge and e is the electric field clear similarly you can learn about the negative charge negative charge all the line of forces are inward all the line of forces are inward clear okay and these circles are the equipotential surface now the last word huh? which is the important part what exactly is this one when we have the combination okay what exactly you need to understand when positive and negative we have the two charges let's say we have the two charges one is positive one is negative we know there is a force of attraction between them but this is the this black line is your electric field or in this i will draw for you let's say i will highlight for you with the blue color you can see these purple lines these lines yes or no these are going these are going so these are your electric field lines okay but you can see the red circle red circle here you can see these type of circle these circles these are your equipotential equipotential see guys if you understand the simple thing positive and negative charge the same structure i will show you huh? same structure everything is same you can see this one 
yes or no now what they are doing they are doing a simple thing they are making a circles here let's say this is the first circle do you understand this circle is your equipotential they are making another circle this is your equipotential clear ah, this is not circle something else okay you can draw another circle so this is your equipotential easy to understand but the major point what you need to focus here now just focus in this diagram huh? the points which i want to tell you you can see more darker circles here red color these red colors yes or no these red color circles are the are showing more value okay and other thing what you need to focus they are not circle now this shape this one the shape is not exactly circle because it shows force of attraction they are going towards each other and you can focus on this point also but they will not ask you all these things they will ask you just to draw them okay now here when we have the same type of structure now this is the major point what is the difference between these two first i will tell you huh? you will see all are separate circle this is a separate circle this is a separate circle they are making their own circles but whenever you have same type let's say positive positive or negative negative you will never see different circles see focus from here i will just highlight that part from the black you can see from here see it is not making a circle it's a different shape if you understand this part you will focus on all other parts okay they are not ma making a circle now this is the shape let's say two circles are joining open ends clear similarly you can go for another one do you understand this part that they are not joining some student will ask me sir first two questions uh, or first two circles are joined because they are very near okay i will draw them also yeah this one is a complete circle fine they are very near to each other but when the forces line of forces are going towards means near to the other charge then they show repulsion this is also your positive charge and yes now you understand because when the line of forces are very strong so which is very near to the charge they make the circle but generally they make incomplete circles clear this is the major point you need to remember while drawing these type of questions in the exam clear okay so guys what we learned we learned about the two charges single charge double charge their directions and about their equipotential surface so two major points on the equipotential surface work done is zero remember this part work done is zero if you are moving on any kind of equipotential surface and second point they never cross each other never cross each other and guys this two type of diagram you need to draw so while drawing them you need to be very conscious that okay which type of circle you are making where the circle is complete and where the circle is not complete so keep this thing in your mind okay